more impressed with Pac-Man mm. or Thurman? Boy, it was funny. It was about 6 o'clock. Wiley, Wiley, here are the tickets. <laughs> I was like, well, like, you coming? <laughs> oh, oh, I can't take it. <laughs> Boy, with the bed at 7 o'clock. <laughs> I love it. Um, I'm actually looking at this one and disappointed in Keith Thurman. Um, look, Pacquiao threw his hands like he's thrown his hands before. He's an eight-time champion in mm -hmm. eight different divisions. You know why? Because he could throw them hands. That speed that he has actually kills. And that's great for Pacquiao. But Keith Thurman, you didn't have more impressive moments against a guy that you were bigger than. Mm -hmm. You could have overpowered. Uh, as you would say, TJ, he should have got inside more. I just thought that he could have dictated terms a little greater than he did. Uh, you had the layoff. You had the tune-up. You knew what you were dealing with in Pacquiao. And he didn't have the proper response. I saw some self-correction. He stopped backing up yeah. with his hands down, which is like <laughs> boxing 101. But beyond that, I just thought that he would bring more animus to the fight than I saw. Yeah. Especially, I, as a, especially as a young guy, right? Like, I thought he would have brought a lot more energy to the fight. Uh, when, Pat, when the fight first started from the first time the bell rang, Pacquiao controlled the fight. When he got that first knockdown mm -hmm. in the very beginning, uh, stayed aggressive throughout the fight. To me, I'm more impressed by watching a 40-year-old Pacquiao put on a show like this because at that age level, to be able to go out there with the young guys and still hold your own, and not only hold your own, but to be able to dominate and control the fight, to me, that's extremely impressive. But see, why I'm not impressed by that is because you always got to compliment it with the birth certificate. Here's the thing. <laughs> Errol Spence don't give a damn how old you are. Right? Sean Porter don't care how old you are. So I got to be careful to watch a guy who's being impressive at 40, mm -hmm. but in the absolute sense, are you impressive when you get in there with the killers? Mm -hmm. He was impressive with the speed work, but other guys are going to neutralize that a little more. I I'm disappointed in Keith Thurman. Uh, I don't believe a 30-year-old should lose to a 40-year-old in any sport, <laughs> period. <laughs> um, so you that, hate Tom Brady. No, no, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> that, that, that's a one-on-one, okay. -on -one, uh, a boxing, Tennis. track and field, yeah. Yeah. where it's just you versus me. A 30-year-old should not lose to a... Now, did he have the amount of respect for Pacquiao that he should have? I'm going to say no. You see Adrian Broner, oh, we was out in the casino till 3 o'clock in the morning. Yeah. Mm. You got a big fight coming up, bro. Mm. You need to be getting your rest. Mm -hmm. did, yeah. did he have that that respect, that fear that he could lose. Um, Pacquiao overwhelms people, yeah, with his hand speed, but he beats you with his feet. Yeah. He gives you so many different angles. He steps around. Like, when he knocked Keith down, Keith backs up mm. with his hands down, and Manny steps to him. And normally, Keith can get out of range because he's so athletic. Well, Manny's feet are so good that he, as you're stepping back, he's stepping with you, mm -hmm. and he was able to drop him. And, and so, for me... I didn't think Pacquiao dominated the fight. I thought Keith Thurman did show... A, he showed a lot of heart because he was taking some punches. Mm -hmm. And he came back. He didn't do enough to win, but he did make it a really good fight. But he... 30 years old, you should not let a 40-year-old beat you. Not, not in boxing. Not at all. Well, I'm <laughs> going to use the birth certificate to say... Because my expectations were low, man. Right. I, I thought Thurman was going to take... I thought he was going to knock him out, to be quite honest with you. And so for Pacquiao to get it in the first ring... Knock this dude down, win this fight. I think split decision. It shouldn't have been a split decision from all the, everything I've read and heard about it. Pacquiao won the fight. And for him to reinvigorate his career mm -hmm. at 40 years old, I, I can't help but be impressed, Marcel. I like it. I love it. It is really giving juice to this division again, especially how it's going to play out. We got Spence. We got Porter coming up. Mm -hmm. See how that plays out. Pacquiao's in the mix. Floyd always sitting there like, in my back pocket, if I say unretired, that's a mega fight, whoever my contestant is. That said, uh, beginning of the fight was different than the end of the fight. The yeah. energy and, and the moments were controlled by Pacquiao. He just, Pacquiao looked like the younger guy. He yeah. took it to him. But then if you look at the compu box, you look at the punches landed, and you start looking at the latter rounds, Thurman showed up. He exactly. self-corrected yeah. a lot of his He showed heart, man. Yeah. He showed and heart. That's why it was an amazing fight. Best fight I've ever went to witness, attended. That was my favorite fight. But it just didn't go the way as it should have been. It should have been Thurman dictating, using it's more. Exactly. Pacquiao using the speed, but then getting neutralized in speed because of you, and then we're going to see how when, it goes. When you're out of the ring as long as Thurman was, it, it's tough. Boxing is a, is a timing and rhythm type of sport. Mm -hmm. um, Earl Spence, Sean Porter... Ooh. Terrence Crawford, oh, they're man. the best three in that division. Oh, we know that. Um, you got some young guys. I'm a big boxing fan from Philadelphia. Kick, 
a kid by the name of Jaron Boots Ennis. Nobody probably knows who he is, but I've seen him fight four or five times. He's another kid that can really fight. Um, but Pacquiao, he has to be careful with who he picks next. But I will say this. Why do you say that, though, before you say this? Oh, because you fight <laughs> one of them young guys that's been active, that's been in the ring, right. that well, they're well, going to bring the fight to CJ, you. CJ, earlier in the day, we were at a pool <clears throat> party, and I overheard you telling several people that you thought you could beat Pacquiao. There's no think to it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh-oh. TJ you don't want to walk them comments nah, back? Nah, no, TJ not at all. <laughs> now, and now TJ in, in, a, in a boxing oh, ring. In a boxing ring? No, they just said in a street fight. Oh, oh, not, I, not a boxing oh, ring. Is, no. is that after all the bottles came? No. <laughs> Were you sober or mine? I had zero drinks in Vegas. <laughs> not one sip. In a street fight, ain't nobody 140 pounds whooping me. Nobody. <laughs> you know what? Nobody. I'll say the same thing, but you know what, man? Be, give now, me... not all you UFC fighters. Don't come talking trash to me. <laughs> yeah, they different. Y'all different. different. Yeah, leave they me alone. Fight. You got to yeah, respect their precision. And look, I know you trained in boxing. I know you, you're a student. In your boxing knowledge. The precision. It's not going to be that, oh, you're just going to be able to grab him. I remember uh, Sugar <laughs> Shane Mosley, I said the same thing. I almost set up a fight. Oh, Lord, I almost set up two fights. Sugar Shane Mosley was one, but we kind of talked it out. <laughs> and he was just like, we were in studio. He said, just defend yourself for five seconds. I said, oh, pfft, what? Go. Hang on. <laughs> I got tatted up so hard right here. He was just going, it's a whole different animal, man. You, I think he was destroyed. All right, stick around. I, he was destroyed. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Speak for Yourself or go watch a few segments from our other shows on FS1.